Mike Patterson, and we're standing in Tlapa de Comun Fort Guerrero, which is a small city at the foot of the mountains, and all around us are mountains that house three Indian tribes, the Tlapanecos, the Mistecos, and the Nahua. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to raise your children in a third world country where there were no schools for your children, where they couldn't even speak the trade language of their own country? Well, that's the dilemma that many of the people in these mountains faced and they love their kids just like you do. That's why they brought them to us for an education. Now as a side result of that and perhaps far far more important they received the gospel. They were trained in the Word of God and now for 40 years they've gone out of these homes and they've gone all over the mountains with the gospel of Jesus Christ. The city of Tlapa is a poor city, even by Mexican standards. While there are some businesses that thrive here, most shops and individuals struggle to earn a living for their families. In fact, this region is one of the largest exporters of migrant workers to the United States, a fact evidenced by the long lines at Western Union on each American payday. On the same street in Tlapa live those with means, as well as those with nothing. The villagers in the surrounding mountains have very little as well, which is why the Bethesda Children's Home is such a welcome opportunity for the people of this region. This is what's called a Casa Ogash. It's a place where children can come and live during the school year. They can go to school, and then they also have Bible classes that they're taught in the afternoons. The Bethesda Children's Home consists of two different locations. The boys' home is on the outskirts of town and houses around 60 to 70 young men at any given time. The girls' home is just a couple of blocks from the town plaza and next door to the local church. It, too, houses about 70 young ladies at a time. Both facilities are right now in the early stages of being remodeled. Thanks to the gifts of supporting churches and individuals, new paint is being applied and bathrooms are being tiled to improve the look and sanitary conditions. The Lord has also recently supplied commercial grade stoves in both kitchens, a much needed upgrade. Students at Bethesda are taught responsibility and discipline through scheduled chores and activities throughout each day. Time is set aside for study on their own and for completing the day's homework. And older students are trained in skills that will help them earn a living after leaving the home. The Bethesda Children's Home was established 40 years ago by the McCoy family in an effort to get the gospel to those who lived in the mountain villages. In providing an education for the children, great things have been accomplished over the years. Many boys and girls have come to know the Lord through these homes that never would have had an opportunity before. There had never been a gospel witness in, back in these mountains before this. The gospel has certainly spread throughout this region. Many villages are now under the leadership of Christian men and women. This village mayor sent two of his children to the home and has become a believer himself. I am grateful for the lives of Dr. and Mrs. Ralph McCoy, and I am also grateful for all those that made possible this mission here in Tlapa. Thanks to them, my son was able to become a doctor and my daughter was able to become a nurse. But most important, they came to know Christ as their only Savior. Bible teaching and personal devotion times are opportunities for the children at Bethesda to learn about God and grow closer to Him. They are taught to pray and to depend on God for their needs. The Sunday and midweek services at Mount Sinai Baptist Church in Tilapa 
are also an important time of training in these young people's lives. I took pride as a secular teacher in seeing my students becoming professionals, such as lawyers, engineers, doctors, but it is even more rewarding now to see the children being saved, uh, learning how to pray, how to read their Bibles, how to win souls, and seeing how God blesses their lives. Soul winning outreach takes place several times a week here in Tilapa. The young people from the home go to all parts of the city and the surrounding hills, taking the gospel from door to door. Each year, hundreds of people come to a saving knowledge of Christ through the witness of these young people alone. The children are able to communicate not only with those who speak Spanish, but also with the Indian people who speak one of three different tribal languages. Not every child will choose to follow the Lord's will for their life upon leaving Bethesda. But each child will have the opportunity to know Christ and to find a brighter future. Let me tell you about Marquitos. He came to us, I'm not sure, three or four years ago. And uh, now he's seven or eight years old. We don't know for sure because he was found on the streets. We have no idea who his parents are. We don't have a birth certificate. There's so many things we don't have. But what he does have is a, is a place and a people and a home that love him and that have uh, uh, done their best to take care of him. And what a future for him. Uh, if it weren't for the homes, he'd be living in the rubble. He'd be eating from the trash cans. He'd be trying to find a place to rest his head at night somewhere on the plaza in a park bench or on the concrete. But Marquitos is a very special little boy loved by God and by us. And honest, not so different from the other children here and from so many across all of that mountain area who are waiting for their place. Can you imagine the impact of well over 5,000 young people that have gone through the homes over the last 40 years? They are the teachers for the mountain schools. They're the doctors, the lawyers, they're the mayors of their villages. They're the pastors, they're the missionaries that coat that area. Now, from there, they've gone to other parts of the world. They're all at least quadrilingual. They speak Spanish, Tlapaneco, Mixteco, and Nahuatl. And these young people have potential like you just can't imagine. And it's been a joy to see how God has taken care of these little ones. I woke up this morning, as I do every morning, praying. And one of the things I've been praying for since the beginning of this year is for $100,000 in project money. And, you know, when I think about that, I'm overwhelmed because we barely make ends meet every month. But our God is capable. And, you know, you're capable. There are some things that you can do, and I hope you will in order to see to it that these needs are met. And so we ask you to have a part in their future as we expand, as we rebuild, as we make it possible for the work to go on. Thank you and God bless you.